about a felon and have not been convicted of felons like Jonathan Lee Riches has been. Whoa! What is she doing? Come on, man. Oh my god. Been convicted of. He is a piece of shit that has coordinated himself with JS for Justice, another wide open cooter, right? She she had an affair and her husband divorced him, left her children, and then decided to marry another man and decided to go to sleep with Jonathan Lee Bridges while I was seeing him. So this woman has a hard on for Bullhorn Betty because I called her out and got her in trouble with her husband. And of course she lied to her husband like she lied to her prior husband. So there you have it. You are a piece of shit, JS for Justice. And trust me, your numbers, I don't care how big you get, when I have enough done, when I'm done with you, you're not gonna get 1,300 people viewing you. You are the biggest piece of shit on here that has manufactured so many news articles that it's not even funny. So now we're going to look at the one that um, was just sent from the lead person in the mysterious disappearance of uh, Sebastian Rogers, that Ellie Mae uh, disgusting piece of garbage that thinks she's hot stuff on, um, you know. I don't even know what to say at this point. I am so angry and frustrated and upset about a few things. And so it really, really gets under my crawl that people have attacked Seth. Not just attacked Seth, but went after his mother without having all of the facts while she's grieving, confused, up and down. We've all watched it. We don't know what she's talking about. She's vague at best. And so, you know, there was a statement that was put out. I want to show this. It was a post. You guys know that I have I have done nothing but been very highly respectful of the mysterious disappearance of Sebastian Rogers Facebook group. I have been nice. I, I, I've enjoyed being there. I've enjoyed being a part of the discussion. Many of the discussion topics have been presented here. You know, we've discussed them. Um, I know that that by the work that I've done, I've helped drive some people here from TikTok over to that very group in the droves. I'm sorry. I've just I've just about had it. OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I have just had it up to here with the freaking bullshit. The absolute bullshit. And even though I'm up to here with the freaking bullshit, I still was able to muster out a very respectful response. And this is what I said. Does she, Sheila live there? Does she know Seth? When did she personally witness this? I have questions about, uh, just, I have questions just saying. Lastly, and this is the truth. JLR isn't bashful. He stands up for himself and speaks for himself all the time. And he's the one that has littered this, um, you know, his, his Twitter feed and stuff with not so nice things about grandma in her emotional state. And it, it was just disappointing. And so I said, lastly, JLR is not bashful. Naturally, he can speak for himself. And we all know he's been attacking the family as well. And I just simply said, how do you attack a family you know has nothing to do with the disappearance or a crime? I'm sorry. It's just wrong on all levels, including morally for religious ones like me. Just my opinion. Not wanting to be offensive, but I'm just tired of the constant drama being stirred up by a small group of people. Take it for what you will. You know, and again, it's not, it, it was not condescending. It was not, it was not being, I was being as respectful. I mean, outside of putting a smiley face out, you know, on there, it, it just, it very upsetting. So she laughs at it and basically says it's rich coming from me. And so it's like, you know, I would expect you not to like it and laugh. That's sad. Take care, you know, but it's like, I find it. And, and, and if you notice top contributor badge right here, right? Look at that. They removed my freaking badge. They removed my freaking badge for, for literally making a statement that, that, like, what? So I find it funny that, that the minute I disagree with a decision or a statement, my top contributor badge was removed from my name. That was wrong. I just want to say that if you tout First Amendment, per, uh, you're a First Amendment person, yes, yet you remove a badge when, when they disagree with you, then you're not a First Amendment person. I'm allowed to respectfully disagree, which I did, and you took my badge from me. And I had been hearing some people, some people had been making some posts about being, they had asked a question or something like that. And I absolutely didn't believe it because I know most of the people that are associated with this group and I like them, or at least thought I did. So it was a little upsetting. I'm, I'm a little kind of butthurt. I'm, I'm a little kind of butthurt, I guess is, is really, yeah, I'm, I'm there. Um, I say that, that is just bullshit. I mean, we have 140,000 on this group, uh, on this channel. I've got almost 30,000 on one of my other channels. I've got almost, I don't know, 7,000 on another channel. I mean, we're not talking about, you know, 
what the ever loving I, I don't you know I just can't it, it, it was very disappointing I just thought it was very important for people to know um, what happened to me by this group I hope it changes I hope I get my badge back I didn't deserve this I simply disagreed I respectfully disagreed and somebody obviously got their feelings hurt over it so and it was obviously an admin so that's the only person I think that can pull a, a top contributor badge but I just thought you should know and that Ellie Mae Farmer chick She's disgusting. Oh, hell. She's absolutely disgusting. And she runs all these Facebook groups making a profit. Facebook prop, pro, uh, oh, God, provides eh? a income to people with certain uh, subscriber accounts. And one of her accounts has 160. And she will kick anybody out that just advocates or has an opinion that she does not like. Bullshit. And I will find out who she is. And I do plan on cussing her out face to face. And I will do exactly that. Um, they were going to cause problems with his foundation. They didn't tell them about us. They threatened this man. They threatened this man that if he came on to Seth Rogers' show, they were going to destroy Joe Petito and his foundation. That is what has been alleged here by Joe Petito himself. It's not talking about Seth. It's not talking about Tony. They literally threatened Joe Petito. This is Andrew Griffin, Manatee County, a Florida activist. So I'm getting ready to head over to the laundry house, the dirty laundry house, uh, to start my uh, protest every hour on the hour for five minutes. They point them at the laundry house and they shout at the parents that they want justice for Gabby and they want the parents to start cooperating with the FBI uh, and law enforcement. They'll do this every single hour this morning. Meanwhile, the search, about five to ten minutes from here at the Carlton Reserve, that is a 24,000 acre wildlife reserve uh, where they search all weekend long. The issue is it has been raining here a lot and it is flooded right now, so they're having a hard time getting in on the trails, Adrian. They're having to search mostly uh, with helicopters. Also interesting, yesterday, the FBI showed up back here at the house. The second time they came here, they went into the house uh, for three minutes, Adrian. They came out with a small box. We later learned from the laundry family attorney that they were taking some of Brian's possessions for what they called DNA matching. Adrian? Okay, Brian, I know you've got so much going on around you, and I applaud you for being able to think straight uh, with so much noise going on. Obviously, there are so many people angered uh, by this story, and whether the family gave Brian Laundry a di multiple days lead ahead of search uh, crews and detectives, but have you talked to any of these people out on the street what are they saying are they speaking to you or just shouting yeah, we have spoken to them in the past. I mean, this isn't the first time they've come out here. I'll show you again. There's only two of them now. What happens is it starts with a couple. There may be 10 or 15 or 20 that show up out here in the next couple of hours. Andrew Griffin, Florida activist, Manatee County. We did uh, two protests, a few hours apiece. One at the Dirty Laundry House, number one, which is Christopher and Roberta Laundry, mom and dad laundry, Dirty Laundry. And then over at the sisters, Dirty Laundry House, number two, Cassie, Dirty Laundry.
sure those neighbors have had it. Oh, my God. Uh, saying the things that those protesters said to that neighbor and suggesting he's going to prison. Are the police going to do anything about this? Because I'm worried something worse is going to happen. Well, we'll find out. I mean, the police haven't been out here yet today. We haven't seen them. They drove by a couple of times. They didn't come out after that fight. But I was sitting in the truck. You know, we've been sort of camped out here every day and all sorts of stuff happens. I started hearing the commotion. I jump out. Uh, Luis, my cameraman, is shooting the whole thing. And it's just it's sad that it's becoming a bit of a circus out here. Because a 90 degree turn he walked directly in to where the remains and where the bag was that that is the key link and i think with photos and walking and timing it and making that straight turn almost to that like you know doing that whole thing again like you said with a stopwatch walking in making that left turn and say here's the area where the police was here's the case anymore that i was going to sue him and so now i am going to sue him i have claims against him for a very long time um drama filled bullshit coming yet again and we've got receipts, receipts. So I want to go through some of the receipts I have. Good night, or good, good afternoon, me and you, Miss Lee, Mom, Rebecca, Collier. So of course, JLR and team, along with Barbecue Lady, have not only this is what they did. They're like, oh, let me tell you, they need to know what type of people um, they're being associated with. First of all, I'm not a felon. I have not been convicted of felons like Jonathan Lee Riches has been convicted of. He is a piece of shit that has coordinated himself with JS for Justice. Another wide open cooter, right? She she had an affair on her husband, divorced him, left her children, and then decided to marry another man and decided to go and sleep with Jonathan Lee Riches while I was seeing him. So this woman has a hard on for Wait a second. I acknowledge that it is my fault that I was too blinded to see, but honestly, I was in love. So, you know, when you're in love, I guess you don't see what you need to see. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut your face. Shut your ugly little whore mouth. She said, I was in love. I was in love. Hold, it, hold on. <laughs> this is the greatest video I've ever seen. How do I download this fucking video? Hold on. You're a whore. You're a fucking whore. I was in love. You're a fucking whore. Took my man, bitch. You're a fucking whore. Keep your close your legs to marry men, right? But you know what? I got knocked on my ass. What can I say? And then. You know, I didn't know, it. you know, like I said, I was bamboozled. I was, you know, blinded. It is my fault. I acknowledge that it is my fault that I was too blinded to see, but honestly, I was in love. So, you know, when you're in love. Hold on here. It is true. Jay for justice left her husband and she actually, I knew her back then. I mean, she's, I think she's shady as fuck. I got a lot of tea from Critical K. Critical K were and Jay for Justice. They like were bridesmaids in each other's weddings. They worked at the same company. And from what Critical K said, she was like, "Did you know that she purposefully flooded her kitchen to get insurance money out of the insurance to get a new kitchen?" And what was crazy is I thought I thought about it and I said, "Wait a second." I was looking at, I remember when she uploaded photos of, oh, look at my brand new kitchen on Facebook. And I thought, oh no, she didn't. Cause that takes incredible walls. And then the last thing I, oh, that then the thing with Jay for Justice was she was asking everybody to give her money for legal bills because she was like restreaming news stuff and she was putting her name across it. And that's like, in, that's not legal at all. You can't do that. They will come after you. This is unreal. What made Bull and Betty just go absolutely not? You know, I, I did suspect that JLR and J for Justice were hooking up. I did. She left her husband. She had like a really good husband and then she met some guy. I don't even know who he was. She thought he had money. 
So she moved down to the Tampa area. And when she moved in, oh my God, this guy's got linoleum floors and formica in like a one bedroom apartment. And literally left her new grandbaby and everything like that. I haven't talked to her since. But then all of a sudden I go down to Florida outside the Petito house, not the Petito house, the laundry house. And that's when I meet them. And then the next day, that's when JRL said, hey, I said, yeah. <laughs> he goes, you're Molly Golightly? And I'm like, yeah. Because I remember Tiffers, Tiffany Murray over there was like, just watch yourself with him because he's mm, a little ee -e. But he was very nice. I mean, he was nice. But I said, yeah, he used to troll me all the time. You don't remember this shit? Oh, it happened. I'm spilling some tea over here, motherfuckers. I'll spill the fucking tea right now. I got nothing to lose. You want some fucking tea? Let me look, my cash app's up there, my PayPal. Go ahead, I'll answer any question you guys want. Why is Bell Bullhorn Betty going off like this? Something must have happened. Because she, yesterday she seemed like, I guess, fine. Something. Hold on. For Bullhorn Betty because I called her out and got her in trouble with her husband. And of course... Okay, why did you do that, Bullhorn Betty? Don't do that. Just don't, don't do that. Don't get her in trouble with her husband. Because remember, what goes around comes around. But then again, you don't have a husband. So I guess you can fuck whoever you want. This is crazy. She lied to her husband like she lied to her prior husband. So there you have it. This is... She married this guy? And then all of a sudden, I saw Jay for Justice begging, oh, I need $500 for everything. How, whatever money she needed, she would ask for like five times more. And I was never down with the way Jay rolled at all. Like I, from the very beginning, like, do you remember when I did the Shannon stickers? Well, she was making, she made a racist comment. <laughs> about gray pubes and his wife. And she called up with me and only, you need to turn a light on. You're lucky that I'm even fucking going live over here, much less fucking putting the goddamn light on. I just cooked a big ass fucking dinner for my fucking family. I wanted to sit down. I went to the bathroom and someone says, you gotta respond to Bullhorn Betty. I can turn my camera off if you, if you prefer. So why don't you guys, I mean, doing a reaction is, I mean, hey, you can say a snake, but who's the, who's the snake? I think all of them are, because it's very obvious that right now she's going crazy because she feels that it's competition. It's all competition. So with the thing with Jay for Justice, she called with a couple people on the line. She's like, oh my God, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. She goes, and this is when I was still in Jersey. So this is like in 2018. You know, and she said, oh my God. She goes, everyone's going to come after me. Oh my God, everyone's going to come after me. Oh my God. And I'm like, don't worry. Yeah, they'll come after you. I, I mean, even in 2018, I had stupid people. But I was like, don't worry. People get over it and it's yesterday's news. Nobody gives a flying shit. And she said something actually really mean to me, Jay. Jay. She said... I'm just so used to having to put you in the hot seat all the time. I never thought it would come back on me. And she laughed. And I was like, wow, such, such a nice girl she is. She's a very nice girl. Isn't she a nice girl? She's a sweet fucking girl. So then I get down to the Petito, no, the Laundry's house. And them two are together. Now, this is the thing. That whole time, I assumed born betty and jonathan were a couple i mean honestly do they make a good couple hell yeah hell fucking yeah when you see them together working together they look like they've been married for 25 fucking years swear to god the way he handles her and the way she handles him her and her bitching and her yapping and the way he's like uh-huh uh -huh, whatever I remember they were gonna sue Jay for justice. And she's like, I need legal, need you to pay for Listen, honestly, I'm not a low life. I'm not gonna ask people to fucking 
you know, give pay pay my legal way out. I won't do that. I'll just tell my fucking husband, like, hey, I'm in some legal shit. And he's like, we're going to get the best Jew we can find. And that's the fucking truth. Make sure, make sure your lawyers are always Jewish. Always. I didn't say that they make a perfect couple. I don't think I did. But when you see them in person, they seem like they've been together for a thousand years. That's the way I pictured it. Just so you know, right outside the laundry house, he was streaming. He was streaming for Jay. So what she did, and Jonathan had a crazy ass tan. Like he was so tan because they were out there for like weeks. And I asked, are, you know, is Jay paying you? Cause I knew the fucking answer. And she goes, no. And I said, yeah, because how it is is she'll get everybody else to do the work and then she cashes in. She does it all the time. Listen, gotta respect that hustle, right? Is she a bad person for it? No, but it always kind of, you know, it's, it's your intent. But in all fairness, she did send cold drinks. So all the super chats went to Jonathan. And uh, what is this going after Gabby Petito's father? Why would anybody do that? Your little girlfriend is gorgeous. I don't know what she looks like. I don't care what she looks like. When you start talking about, well, the new girlfriend's gorgeous, I'm going to assume that this is a really petty argument. So it's jealousy. Why is she jealous? But the thing is, is, why would she be mad? Something had to have happened. Why would she be why would she be popping off? I don't know. Is she completely mental? Is she a I don't know, what do they call those people that fucking go from one extreme to the other? Bipolar? What JS for Justice said. Joe's out. Shamu is in. Change of programming for tonight. Watch party on JS for Justice Discord. You are a piece of shit, JS for Justice. And trust me, your numbers, I don't care how big you get. When I have enough done, when I'm done with you, you're not going to get 1,300 people viewing you. You are the biggest piece of shit on here that has manufactured so many news articles that it's not even funny. News articles. But let's talk about this, okay? And then listen to this. Now Gotta respect the hustle. We got JS for Justice. We have Barbecue Lady out there, which bar Barbecue Lady is going to get her own uh, in due time. In Do we know who the Barbecue Lady is? Time to help people customize and save. Holy shit, we were only two minutes in and there's an ad. Let her get her... Let's let her get her- Liberty Mutual. I told Jonathan if he stepped in this case anymore that I was going to sue him. And so now I am going to sue him. I have claims against him for a very long time. And this last little dig from him and his people, I- am All right, Betty, honestly, if you are watching this, you have to calm down. You cannot bring this on yourself, all of this stress. People are going to do what they're going to do. You don't have any control over them. You have no control. Zero. Don't threaten them with the lawsuit. Just do it. You're not going to do it because you're in. Oh, my God. You know what? I just realized why I don't even come over here. I'm starting to feel the stress just listening to this fucking mouth. I'm going to sue him in Pasco County where he lives. Not Tampa Bay. Pasco County in Port Ritchie. That's where the man lives. That's where I'm planning on suing him. Oh my God. Oh. I'm going to be also including Miss Jamie Phillips in that lawsuit as well. So who's Jamie Phillips? I, I'm over this nonsense. I'm over this thuggery on this platform. I'm over people trying to destroy an innocent man because they didn't get the attention that they wanted. The okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. So basically where she's coming from is how I felt, am I right? The way they were going after Miss Leticia, right? Um, I have to sue people because I'm, <laughs> you are irrelevant. That's why nobody listens to you. Go make your own channel. Let's see how, how many people listen to your hate-filled rhetoric. Probably hardly anybody. Probably. No one's listening to me. I'm over here minding my own fucking business, not bothering anybody. As calm as a Hindu cow. I haven't been swimming in it for the past three years. Jonathan Lee Riches, let me be very clear to you. I know who's behind all of this, and I'm coming for you, sir. You want to do all this dirty stuff to me? You tried to destroy me. You lied to me for over a year, and you think I'm going to sit here while you have your friends destroy everything that this man is trying to do. He was going to threaten him. Why would he do that? He was out there 
protesting. We're on Gabby's side. We always were on their side. I've, I've never talked to the Petitos. I've never tried to talk to any of them. I mean, I just, I figured I pushed it enough when I ended up on the goddamn news shit. We have a no, we have a no uh, tolerance policy here. And I don't have, I, I, somebody get that, that, that asshole up. Naturally, I'll do it. We have a no tolerance policy here. I want everybody that's, uh, that needs to be hidden, hidden. Thank you. Thank you. We're not going to, we're not going to deal with this nonsense. JS for justice. You need to keep your legs closed first and foremost. Secondly, you and your misfits need to stop harassing Seth. And as a matter of fact, he's already sent all these people cease and desist letters. I think it's time to start executing some lawsuits against these people that do, that want to just cause him harm for no other purpose than to show that they have the ability. Betty, if you're listening to this, you should listen to me. As someone that tried to be your friend, and as a life coach, I'm just saying, all this anger takes years off your life. Stop being angry. You're, I mean, she is like seething. She is seething. Oh, I heard this video gets really good. Come on, Betty. Let's see if we can calm her down. All right, we need the dog to intervene and sit right between her legs. They threatened to harm him and his foundation in order to get him to not show up. Let's be very clear on what these people did to Joe Petito. I know for a fact, Barbecue Lady, which we are going to start exposing her nastiness because she won't stop either. And she's obviously not gonna stop. I've never heard of this Barbecue Lady. Until there's bracelets around her wrist because from what I hear, she's already committed a few felonies in the process of doing this. Jesus Christ. So I hope whoever is, she did committed those felonies against, I hope that they are taking legal action against her. I also found out that she was catering a party and making food while- Petito family wanted nothing to do with Bill and Betty. I don't blame them. They lost their daughter. There's people trying to get at them every single day. I, I feel terrible for those poor people. Those poor people have been right through the coals like 185 times. Leave these people alone. Never knows what she's really talking about. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what's happened to her. Something has happened, and I don't know what it is. A good friend of mine saw her recently in person, and she was like, "You need to talk to her." I'm like, "Why? Why? Why?" And she's like, "She's really losing it." My friend did say that to me. Cats were craw crawling all over her countertop in a very unsanitary work environment. Say it again. I also found out that she was catering a party and making food while cats were craw crawling all over her countertop in a very unsanitary work environment. And she fed people that, that food. That is disgusting to me. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. It's just disgusting. Oh, cut it out. Adrian, are you gonna eat dinner? Because we can always go out to eat every single night. I am waiting. For what? For you. I already ate. I've already ate. I mean, I would be amazing. You know what? This is the thing, Adrian. Adrian, listen, listen. The thing is, is Jake is with his friends. And they, he's with his little girlfriend, and his girlfriend suffers from. She's in, uh, like, you know, she's in therapy for it. So she doesn't like to be around food. So she has to go to a special place to eat. All I know is that there's somewhere around the Hershey concert, the Journey and Def Leppard are here. No one told me that I'm well, Adrian, if I say dinner's ready, then just eat. Now it's going to get cold. I did cook dinner. I made black pasta, grilled chicken, and then put caprese on top of it. Fresh mozzarella, diced tomatoes, and diced basil. Call this little shit. I'm sorry. We'll be back to our regular programming in a second. Oh, fuck. You want corn? You're making it. 
Well, wh why don't you eat that first? And then we'll go for the corn. I'm not done with the corn. I have to fix the corn. What the fuck? This kid does not pick up his phone. And it's pissing me off. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. No. Let me track his ass. Hold on. Where is he? All right. They're by her. Yeah, they're a Hershey Park. Motherfucks. Whatever. The show is going to go on. I can tell you that there is going to be, um, it sounds like we're going to be uh, going through some stuff that you guys haven't seen, such as Sebastian Rogers' uh, day at SeaWorld, you know, for this horrible father that hates his son, you know, that just, just deserves all of this nonsense from these idiots on YouTube. Um, you know what, Jay? I'm just saying what I heard. I heard that the biological father of this boy made a GoFundMe and spent this money on a GoFundMe, which is supposed to help aid in the search for his son. I mean, it's another reason why I don't do GoFundMe. I don't fucking like it. I don't like it. I've always been scammed. I was someone told to me that he bought a minor motorcycle and paid off someone's house or some chick. Please tell me that's not true. I would hate for that to be true.